hey guys welcome back to ask hr your channel for authentic hr content it's always exciting to come your way with information that will help you get into the job market and information that will help you advance in your chosen career in the past couple of weeks we've done um, some videos that helps you to excel whilst you're in the workplace i mentioned that we are doing videos on inclusion how to get in the door we're doing videos on influence how to do well whilst you're there and then we're doing some videos on impact how to excel outside of the confines of your work environment and these are videos that we are going to be doing subsequently we've not started doing videos on impact yet but i've had a couple of questions on answering a particular question that has to do with inclusion how to get in the door how to you know ace an interview and we've addressed a couple of those things so you can look out for those videos we've uploaded them weeks ago some of them talks about things you shouldn't say in an interview and how to answer particular questions now some people have asked me that how do you go about answering where do you see yourself in the next five years most likely you've been asked a similar question and so in today's video we are going to be looking at how to ease that question where do you see yourself in the next five years so let's dive right in where do you see yourself in the next five years and then people are just thrown off but I've always said that preparation is very necessary for any kind of meeting at all, interviews, regular work meetings, whatever. You just need to prepare. So this is a question they would ask you, whether you are an entry level person, a middle manager, senior manager, whatever level you are, this is a, a most likely question you can find in an interview room. Now, why would an employer be asking you where you want to be in the next five years? There's so many reasons, but I'm just going to outline two of them um, for the purposes of this video. The first one will be that recruitment can be very expensive. The Society for Human Resource Management, USA, uh, carried out a recent research that shows that cost per hire or um, how much it costs you to hire a person is 4,000 USD. Yes, 4,000 USD per person. That's how much it costs. And they are hidden costs. We, it's not necessary in this video to do the breakdown. But you know, we calculate everything. The vacancy, the work that is left undone, the hiring team, the time they spent, advertisement all those costs come together to show you what the cost of hiring a person could be and it's very expensive so no employer is looking to hire someone who is going to be living in the next two weeks next month one year two years the question always goes where do you see yourself in the next five years because most employers believe that within five years or at least by the fifth year they would have had their return on investment in this particular person they hired and so five years is the minimum that's why they won't ask you where do you see yourself in the next one have you wondered why they, they never ask where do you see yourself in the next two or three years they always say because five years for them is the minimum from the answer you're going to give them you'll be able to tell whether this person is just looking for a job anything to do right now because they don't have anything doing at the moment so that in the next couple of weeks, months, when they actually find what they are really looking for, they just disappear. So that would be the first thing. The second thing is that they want to know whether your values, your expectations as an employee matches with what they are looking for as an organization. Is there that match? If it exists, will they be able to manage those expectations in the course of the five years that you will be with them all things being equal so at least these are the two reasons an employer will be asking you where do you see yourself in the next five years so it's not an unnecessary question it's a question you need to prepare for now let's get into the do's of answering this question the first thing is that 
always make sure that you are connecting your career goals to the job you are applying for okay so where do you see yourself in the next five years then you begin to talk about things that are totally unrelated to the job you are shooting yourself in the foot your interviewer will begin to lose interest and will think that you are misaligned with what they are looking for so that's the first thing always make sure that the goals you are outlining which are the things you are looking to do in the course of the next five years of your career are aligned to the job you are being interviewed for very very important number two it's okay if you don't have it all figured out i mean the next five years what you want to do especially for an entry level person you may not know what you want to do in the next five years of your career which is okay what an interviewer is looking for is your demonstration of your understanding of the role so if it's sales or marketing at least you understand what trends exist you understand where you are right now as far as that industry is concerned your level and the steps you need to take and this will require you to do some research what are the trends what's your current level you know in that industry are you a beginner are you playing in the the middle circles or are you advanced if you are at the beginning what are the steps you need to take so you do your research and then you communicate accordingly demonstrating your understanding of your industry where you are and the necessary steps you are going to take to get there so do number three is that be honest yet tactful i mentioned earlier that make sure you are connecting um, your answer to the job in question so you are being as honest as you can be now even if it's going to be a short-term gig for you because you know what you want to do you've seen this as an opportunity which is great but it may not necessarily be what you want to do in the long term it's not something you want to be doing for five years so for you it's a short-term gig but you don't need to mention that necessarily focus your answer on tasks and responsibilities that need to be carried out okay so you are not mentioning a position per se in the company let's say i'm going to be the next ceo or um, i will see myself in a managerial role that's too um cliche and generic so you're speaking to the role for instance if it's a marketing or sales role you say that in the next few years i would have been able to manage so so and so campaigns and become an expert or become very experienced at it so you're speaking to the role and being as tactful and as honest as can be the final do is that be realistic sometimes you see entry-level people come into an interview and then it's good to want to sound ambitious that's fine be ambitious but be realistic some of them entry-level person probably just finished national service you've not gained much experience and this is a very huge complex organization you come into for an interview and they ask you where do you see yourself in the next five years and then you say i'll probably be in so and so managerial role i'll be the ceo now it shows that you just don't know what you are talking about and that's very uninteresting you know we just lose interest by the time you start talking about those things we realize you haven't done your research you don't even know what you are talking about so we just sit there out of curtsy but you you just lost us on that answer so make sure that whatever um goals you are outlining are realistic and achievable now to the don't of answering this question the first thing you don't want to do is to joke no no just don't joke okay it's okay i, I mentioned earlier it's okay if you can you don't know exactly what you'll be doing in the next five years that's okay but make sure you are communicating in a way that tells us that you have a plan to figure it out some people just tell a joke someone can say i will be in your position so are you trying to kick me out of my job don't tell a joke for instance where do you see yourself in the next five years and then your answer is i'm just trying to make it to friday and then it's funny you laugh 
maybe sometimes out of curtsy the interviewer may laugh but very strict interviewers may not find that amusing at all and will let you know outright and that will throw you off your game when you see that um your interviewer is unhappy with you no matter how prepared you are you, you just lose your train of thoughts so the first thing is that make sure you don't joke demonstrate your ability to answer this question or that you have a plan even if you don't know you know exactly what you want to be doing in the next five years the second thing you don't want to do and i've already mentioned that recruitment is very expensive there are many companies who still haven't come to terms with the fact that recruitment is expensive so they just bring people in and people leave they get new people and all that and they're bleeding in ways they may not even appreciate okay sales companies are not looking to bleed as far as um retention goes so you don't want to create an impression in answering this question that you are going to take the door the next chance you get so maybe you are interviewing as a developer in a startup and then they ask you this question and say you hope you'd have landed your dream job at google by then you shot yourself in the foot you don't want to do that so don't give the even if that's what i mean it's not a place you'd want to stay in the long term make sure that you answer your question avoiding um exposing the fact that you take the door the next opportunity you get the next thing is don't be too generic or oh, and i just want to come and learn as much as i can and also help the organization you know, that's too generic interviewers hear that all the time that's an opportunity to highlight your skills and your abilities highlight the reason you think you would be a good fit you know for the role so don't be too generic and lastly don't ramble some people explain step by step they are five-year career plan they may sit there and listen to you but they've lost interest and that may affect the entire rhythm of the interview so you want to avoid rambling just go straight to the point and answer this question so i'm going to share with you a very simple way of answering this question and i want you to follow this formula it's just three steps the first step is to get two or three key goals and then connect them to some of the qualities that they advertised in the job so let me give you an example i'm someone who excels in studying about new tech and trends and so in the next five years i see myself as having established a strong knowledge in the field of digital marketing trends excellent so you just went straight to the point without um beating about the bush probably in their job description they are looking for someone who follows and understands trends and how it impacts the business so you've positioned yourself as someone who is able to do that that's the first step in answering that question so the next step is you want to dive a little bit and a little bit is very important here so that you don't ramble as i mentioned earlier into how you are going to do this what you mentioned earlier about the establishing strong knowledge in the digital marketing trend space what the interviewer wants to see is that you've thought through your plan you are not just speaking english so you just can say something they want to see that how are you going to do that so continuing from where we started off how are you going to establish that strong knowledge okay so probably joining professional associations taking educational courses and also your actual work you do on a daily basis are all stepping stones to making you that person who in five years time would have established a strong knowledge in digital marketing and its trends okay so that's the next step you are going to show them how am i going to do this so you you have a, a thought out plan that's why i also mentioned earlier that preparation is key if you don't prepare for this question trust me it will throw you off your game now to the final step you can skip this but if i'm sitting listening to someone and the person says this 
I would be impressed. Okay, so the third thing is that you want to go beyond the five years. You can talk a little bit more about what you're looking to. So maybe, so um, beyond the five years, I'll do, by then be figuring out whether I want to specialize you know, in a particular field in marketing, or I want to just be a generalist as far as marketing goes. You can also talk a bit more about um, rising into a, a more strategic role that helps you to make bigger decisions for the organization as far as marketing goes. Excellent, straight to the point, succinct. So these are the three steps. Get some key goals, connect them to the qualities they are looking for, demonstrate how you're going to do that and then also step a little bit beyond the five years they ask you for every interviewer will be impressed if you can answer your question like this so there you have it don't start sweating the next time they ask you where do you see yourself in five years or say i don't know or try to crack a joke i'll have your job in the next five years i'll be retired and be on a beach i'll be a rich widow or I'm trying to just get to Friday. No, you don't want to do that. So these are tips to help you answer this question excellently. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it is, like, share, subscribe, if you haven't done so yet, and share with as many as you can. We are building a community of helping people land the right opportunities and excel while they are at it. Thank you.